broke, just getting the business up and running. When I say broke, I was happy just with $100 a client. That's a lot to a 17, 18, 19 year old. Not a lot of bills, cool like that. Um, telling lawyers to be successful, you need mindset. And they're driving Lamborghinis and stuff. But I was convinced on mindset. Jokes are, please take that as good advice. I'm not saying it's wrong, but how naive can I be? Here I am broke in tears. I can't do this. And I always remember the first question I asked a lawyer. I said, well, how do you get clients? And here we are today. Had I not asked and kept pushing mindset, some of these lawyers, their biggest issues literally were, I don't know what color car I want to drive today. Literally. Talk about real life problems. And here I am, um, naive enough to be saying it's all mindset, it's abundance, because that's what Mind Valley was telling me. But I was the I was the epitome of it not working. But when it came to mindset, I was your guy because I knew it conceptually, but applying it is very, very hard. So the only option was I'm doing all this, it's not working. What am I missing out on? probably laying in bed for eight hours a day, hoping and wishing doing mindset for 12 hours each other day. It's a lot of wasted time. What are the lawyers doing? Appointments, strategy calls, marketing, talking to clients, symptom hunting. So I thought, well, they're successful. I'm young. I want money. Who doesn't? Why don't just do what they're doing? So they would pay me for the stop smoking. A lot of the times I got free advice. I spent quite a few days in their office watching them, which was very kind of them. Started paying them. And what do you think happened? Oh, magically, I started making money. Why? Because I was doing the inputs and I was getting the outputs. Now, people have said to me, Scott, that might have only happened because of the mindset stuff you did before. Fine. If that's what you want to believe. Fine. Okay. But all in all, guys, you can do all the mindset stuff you want in the world. But if you don't have a plan of conscious action, good luck. I got so busy, I stopped worrying about what was happening in my head. So I've not heard of exposure therapy before. NLP does a lot. You know, they're bringing the snakes and the spiders. Erickson was big on that, doing it through conversation. Quick, bang, ab reaction, exposure therapy. I did exposure therapy for myself with business. I just did all the things I could. I threw all the spaghetti at the wall and what happened? Eventually something stuck. Where a lot of people can do that and that's fine. The next level was the lawyers teaching me about tracking things. Scott, what's working? I don't know, but I made 10 grand this week. That's awesome. How did you get there? I don't know. That's the next level of evolution. What did I do? What was that 20% that gave me the 80% results? And that's how asymmetry was born, which we'll talk about today. Now to the point where I know what buttons to push in order to sell out a course. There's no worry. There's no concern. Do I push the yellow button or the green button? That's my only choice. Either do it or don't. Does that make sense? But to get to that stage, 1,800 YouTube videos, three or 4,000 posts on each social media platform per, per year, seven days a week. It depends on what you guys want. But I just want to reveal I'm not doing the minds. I don't do any of that stuff anymore. Too busy. But again, we'll talk about it tomorrow. But does that sort of help, guys? That's the direction we're going.